This morning we're gonna do rear shocks because I don't have enough time to do the front ones. So what we got here is we're gonna pull the wheel off. There's two bolts on the top, two, well, one bolt on the top, one bolt on the bottom. You can just take it out and put it back in, bam. This is what comes inside this box. Just this one shock. You're gonna to wanna to line it up with the shock that you got. Make sure that it's the same one and then put it in there. Step one. I decided to see if I could do it without a uh, taking the wheel off. If you look at it from here, you can get right in there. We just broke it with the breaker bar and now we're gonna put on a ratchet. And for the bottom one, gear wrench. Okay, once you take out the bottom one, then you should be able to get this part. Top. On the way back in here, you're gonna wanna um, put this bolt in first and then hold the nut on the back so you can get it started. And then do the bottom one last. Okay, when that bolt comes out, this axle goes down a little. So to get this back up, you either need a second jack or you can shim it. I shimmed it and then this just goes right in and then we'll tighten it up. And there it is, back in place. It only took about a half hour. You could probably do it faster. I'm gonna try it on that side now. This second shock took about 15 minutes to put in without making a video, so if you're wondering, it'll be pretty quick if you're just not talking to a camera. Rear shock's an easy job. It only took me like 15 minutes per side. Once I went and videotaping and bam, done. Nice and easy.